I was able, through my connections in the biz, uh, I don't know what biz actually. Yeah, I shouldn't have said that. Biz. Oh, it's yeah. biz. Never said biz. That. What? No, no, no. It's an accounting oh. firm. Oh. Um, <laughs> but uh, I got to watch the uh, opening because I I watched the first season of Your Honor and uh, I do love it. And then I got to watch the opening uh, show of the second season, which was made available to me. Uh, How is that possible? They got it for the me. The biz. Yeah, the biz. They really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, and it's uh, terribly edited. They really rushed it together. <laughs> Just well, dailies. He needs it now. Yeah. <laughs> but that opening scene of where you're, and I don't want to give anything away because it hasn't come out yet, but what your character has yeah. gone through, and uh, that is that is a memorable scene that the second season opens with. So you're saying something that I can't even comment You on. can't even comment no. on it. I'm just saying. But I understand what you mean. What, what I'm saying to yes. people out there is you need to you need to uh, catch up on your honor if you haven't. And then this this first episode, I thought, which is coming out soon. Very soon. Uh, was riveting. And it's the same thing where, you, you know, you are you start out this character um, who... Uh, you know, it, it is it is a little bit evocative of stuff you've done before where you're starting out in one place and then we're seeing your character get pulled like a piece of metal to the point where it's a wire and you're mm. it's quivering and you think, Is this gonna break is this gonna break at any wow. moment? This it's That's really a very descriptive way of putting it. That's not, I like that. You know, I was a metallurgist for a while. Yeah, I guess. I yeah. guess. Yeah, and so I'll they'll tell you, Matt will tell you all my all my, uh, you know, whenever I make any kind of illusion at all, it's usually too. It's like when you take copper, yes, and you pound it, and then you apply, uh, you know, some some cold water. Yeah, he only knows uh, metal a, an analogies. Yeah, and it's, and it acts as a conduit too. <laughs> to a, yes. and then you can access That's other. Right, yes. It's a little like brass. Yeah, uh, <laughs> going yeah, it's, and it's move it's insufferable. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. Yeah, I apologize. Uh, but kids, study metallurgy, <laughs> and then you can get into comedy. You are the vertebrae of my. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's and it's fun. It, it, um, the people at Showtime are are just enormously supportive, and and they gave us the tools and the time to be able to create this second season of Your Honor, the way, um, frankly, I wanted to do it. Yeah, it's great too because I my favorite shows are the ones where it's not always clear who I should be rooting for. Because there's, uh, it's it's a way that a TV has, I think, improved so much since the TV. You know, when when we were growing up, television was good guy. Yeah. Uh oh, the bad guys are coming. It's getting tense. Good guy wins. Credits. Uh, <laughs> and right. and I think, um, obviously, we've evolved to this place where people that I understand their motivations. I I like them but I'm also horrified by what they're yeah. doing. I'm not sure I agree with all these choices, right. but I understand why they're making them. Yeah. And I think uh, that we've come a long way since Happy Days. No knock against Happy Days, but the old formula was nothing can ever change. It was stasis. The Fonz is always yeah. the Fonz, right. Richie's always Richie, and this is how it is. Yeah, and that's the way, it, people find comfort in that. And there are still procedurals that people do find very comfortable. Uh, they are presented with a, a problem that our hero is going to solve by the end of the episode, and they do. I don't particularly find that very entertaining um, because it's so kind of black and white. Yeah. And and But it's the serialized shows that go deep into it. And I think younger generation, the generation now that is coming up graduate from college or whatever, they're far more sophisticated, and they demand more uh, in their entertainment, yeah, and you cannot serve them the same old dish that they had before. They won't take it because there's so many options to them. Yeah, you have to rise to their level of expectations. And we were fed pablum in those in those days. You know, it's like that's that's this is what you have. It's Hawaii Five O. And yeah, it's that driving music, and it's like, oh, something exciting is going to happen, and then it doesn't, and it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> well, the other thing is, it was. Uh, I mean, I sound like a, a guy describing the Great Depression, but because uh, <laughs> um, I didn't, in no, by no stretch of the imagination, did I had a difficult childhood. But there were three networks, 
And so there was very little competition. They were all pretty much making the same stuff. And the third place network was making a, a fortune. I mean, you know, there was yeah. no such thing as losing money because they were the only games. And there's ABC, there's CBS, there's NBC. And then um, it's quite a while later that, that like Fox shows up. But when these, that was it. Yeah. And so uh, you often watched things because the reception was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly Oh, I'm right. getting this channel in. It's, it's pretty, what are you watching? Oh, it's a Catholic mass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You sure you don't want to? No, it looks good though. You know, they're doing the communion ceremony. Yeah. So let's check it out. But the things that we would watch just because it came in, and I, I take shit for this sometimes because I'll, I, I go after the show Chips, but when I watch one of those now, and I'm, and, and I'm looking at all the logical flaws. <laughs> I did with, an episode of that. Did you really? <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> Who were you? And what did you do that, that needed the intervention of some motorcycle cops? <laughs> I, uh, I was a newlywed and I, and I, and they don't give you much time to create a character. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> You were guy on hang glider. They said uh, this this newlywed Southern couple, and so I was talking like this. Yeah, I mean, big. You know, so, baby, come on, baby, let's let's drive fast. You know. <laughs> so, I love. I've got to see this episode. Oh yeah, and uh, my. So here's the here's the scandal, is that my the woman who played my uh, betrothed was a woman. Kathy Shower, I believe, mm. and I believe she was like a, a Playboy playmate or a penthouse pet or something like that. Mm -hmm. And boy, Eric Estrada was on her oh, wow. immediately. Of course. <laughs> and it's like, so I rarely saw her. It was like, they were off. Whoa. It was like, Mr. Estrada, we're ready. In a minute, in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God bless the late 70s and early 80s. What a wonderful time. Oh, my uh, gosh. I just, I, I, I don't mean to imply that uh, and impugn her, her integrity no, as no, a human being. No, no, they were going over being. lines. Yes, totally. that's right. Uh, that's hilarious. No, I, but I often use that as an example of that's TV where there's not much competition. That's yeah. how it always felt to me, meaning... What's happening this week? Well, there's some jewel thieves and they operate on the highway. <laughs> Why would they? That's, don't ask. Don't ask. Don't ask. Yeah, yeah. And then the guys, you know, rather than the FBI getting involved, because this is interstate commerce crime, um, we're going to ask these two motorcycle highway <laughs> patrolmen <laughs> to crack this ring. It's proximity. Yeah, they're exa just, they're exactly. there. They're there. And so then the next week, it would, you know, they crack that. And then it always ends with the beginning of the show, because I ranted with about this with Bill Burr on the podcast once, so I know I'm repeating Oof. myself. But it always, but I have to do this because you're here. It always starts with, there's a disco dan dance competition in the, you know, policeman's <laughs> union. Ponch, you going to enter? Guys, I got to. Nah, you shouldn't do it, Ponch. <laughs> Hey, wait a minute. It's time for the meeting. There's some jewel thieves on the highway. Ponch, John, get on it. They do that, and then at the end of the episode, they're slapping the cuffs. I can't believe you caught us. Hey, Ponch, you better get going. You're right. <laughs> well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a woman. And Ponch dancing, and everyone's like, yeah. yeah. Freeze frame. <laughs> Freeze frame, right. <laughs> and then next week, it's there's going to be a hang gliding competition uh, with a bunch of bi bikini-clad girls. Yeah. Uh, but first... Someone stealing Renoir's on the highway. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Bill gets mad. He's like, I love that show. And I'm like, no, Bill. 